I want to talk about something, and I believe this came to me last night, but I was thinking, I don't know if I should talk about that. So the subject came to my mind today, and I am thinking, hey, perhaps I should talk about it. Some people may say that they are looking for a good man or a good woman. That is okay. But if you are unstable, why do you believe that you deserve a good man or woman? By being unstable, you won't know how to treat a good woman or a good man. So what you are going to do is damage that good man or woman because you are damaged. What makes no sense to me, you get into a relationship and then you break up, then you get into another relationship, then you break up, and you continue on this cycle on and on and on. Don't you know that you are building soul ties? The best thing to do is to stop, heal, then perhaps get into another relationship, perhaps. But take time, years, not just a month or a few months. You need to heal. If you don't heal, what you are going to do is take that pain and bring it to the next person. But you say that you want a good woman or a good man. You know, I talk to people and I receive emails from people as well. So many hurt people out there. So many hurt people. And I believe some of them is looking through their eyes of their pain and judging things based upon that. So their perception is off. So you are saying that you are looking for a good man or a good woman. If you are unstable, if you are not good yourself, you need to stop dating, stop. Stop. I remember back when I was in sin and I was so bad, <laughs> so bad. I believe a person told me the best way to get over a relationship is to get into another one. That may be a quick fix, but it is not going to last long. It is not going to last long. Because there is, when you, when you continue to fornicate with people and date people, the more people that you pass over, as in you date this person and that person and that person, and you are having sex with those people, listen, how can I say this? Jesus, help me. Let's say that, uh, <laughs> let's say that I have two cardboard pieces and let's say that I glue both of them together, right? And let's say I let it dry. Then after a week or so, what I do is tear them apart like, mm. Now, what is going to happen? 
on this cardboard, you are going to see fragments of this cardboard on this cardboard, actually on both pieces. So when you are getting into relationships, having sex and all that stuff there, when the relationship is broken apart, fragments of this person is still on you. So what you do is not wait to heal or actually do things right and to heal, then get married. No, you jump into another relationship, do the same silly things <laughs> and break up. So now you have fragments of these other people on you and don't understand why you are so depressed or sad or unhappy saying that all, all women are blah, 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 or all men are blah, 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 blah. No, the problem is you. The problem is you. What you need to do What you need to do is stop, heal, take years. You are not worthy of having a good man or woman, as you say. You are not worthy of having a good man or husband if you are not humble if you don't have unconditional love, if you are not a peacemaker, if you are this conceited, arrogant, prideful, I want to do things my way type of person, why do you believe you deserve a good woman or a good man? What you are going to do is damage those people as well. So you are going to make more of yourself. So if you choose to not do things right, you deserve a person the same way as you, someone damaged as well. Now, you may not like me saying this, and I really don't care. I am telling the truth. You don't deserve myself. I believe back in 2006 or 2007, I believe I was dating at least, let me say this, probably in my whole life, I may have dated one or two good women. But back then, I was not serious. I just wanted to have fun. So how could I say back then, I am looking for a good woman when I was terrible, when I was damaged, <laughs> so damaged. <laughs> because all you are going to do is run over that woman or man. Something was inside my mind and I can't think of it. I can't think of it. So I pray that this makes sense. You deserve someone just like you. So if you are prideful and narcissistic, arrogant, prideful, conceited, whatever, you deserve a person just like you. It is crazy to think that you can get or deserve a person that is going to treat you better than how you treat others. I know for myself, I try to treat people the way that I want to be treated. But if I was to treat people like trash, how can I expect others to treat me better than how I treat people? That is crazy. So let me stop right here. 
God bless you.